Margate, just another quiet and quaint English seaside resort until International Beach Cross comes to town. When a convoy of quads arrive at the beach early on a Saturday morning, you know the weekend peace and quiet is about to be well and truly shattered. Beach Cross is, in, a, in basic terms, is it's uh, motocross or scrambling, short, sharp, snappy races, lots of starts. There's three races each class per day. So the riders get three goes at scoring points, three goes at getting it right. And what also happens out there is build jumps, undulations, whoops as they're called. And uh, that certainly sets all the challenges for the riders and makes it really good for the spectator. Racing on a constantly changing sand course is extremely challenging. But for the competitors, it's the level of unpredictability that makes it so exciting. Margate Beach is most probably one of the best beach races we've raced. You get total buzz from it, adrenaline. There's wheel to wheel bashing, crashing. You just got to be on the pace and you enjoy yourself. Nothing beats being sat on the start line with sort of maybe 20, 30 other bikes. You're waiting for the gate to drop. Your senses are going crazy. Once you get the first corner over with you, think, right, the next challenge, the next challenge, and you're pacing yourself against some really good riders, you learn so much. You always want to win and do better than your opposition. So it's just trying to catch the person in front of you or stay out in front in the lead. If you've got the racing blood in you, you just want to race. Now in its seventh year, the weekend has grown into a truly international event, attracting large crowds and competitors from all over Europe. I love England! Yeah. <laughs> We've got around about 50 riders that have come across from France, Belgium, Holland, Germany, um, and that just makes the event an international flavour, terrific atmosphere down in the paddock. They're coming from all far and field, and uh, it makes it special. It makes it one really good, happy family. Among the regular visitors to Margate is a team of top female French riders known as the Sand Roses. I've come over from France to finish the sand season. We've done the whole French championship, six races in total. And to close the season, we've come here to have some fun. Why did I come from France today? To Margate? The weather is good, the race is excellent, we have great fun. There are lots of heats, we learn a lot and the organisation is good. And it's relaxed, less tricks than in France. We could do what we like, there are no problems. It's very relaxed. In true grassroots fashion, beach cross is a sport riders of all ages and abilities can take part in. And you don't even need to have a quad bike to get involved. So I spent one day just watching, and the next time I came down to Tony, can I help out in any way? He said, well, I need marshals. Marshalling was brilliant. And then the rest of the race is now, the whole weekend is purely you're running on adrenaline. You'll be up at the crack of dawn, ready to get the bike ready. At the end of the night, you sleep, and then you get up the next day and you think, I'll go again. And then you get to a point, you think, it's been a good weekend. Regardless of their experience, these weekend racers go to great lengths to take part in the sport they love. We got up at four o'clock yesterday morning, French time. We took the shuttle and we got here at about six o'clock in the morning. Then we went to registration. We ate at the hotel and then we got ready for the race. So the organisation is good. There's no stress. It's superb. And with the sunshine, everything is good. Carl Bunce got the best of the weekend's results to claim an early lead in the championship standings. The series returns for its final round in November, so until then, Margate and its beach can return to normal. It's been totally awesome. Uh, the riders have had such a great time. They're very, very tired, as is all of the event team. The place has been rammed. We've got to be proud of it. It's been a great shot in the arm for our sport. Emotionally very proud of everything that's gone on today. And uh, yeah, it's been a special, special weekend. Margate is fantastic! <laughs> yeah.